Wonderful, wonderful to see you. I want to start on a note of sellout. Every now and again, no matter what other subjects I emerge myself in, I feel the need to reflect on my past life as a music journalist. If you already know this story, I'm going to bore you. I'm joking. I was a music journalist for just over a decade, from my mid-20s to my mid-30s. I toured the world with some of the biggest names in music. I wrote for all major publications and had a weekly spot on KISS FM. I it was called Street Knowledge. I believed for many years that music had the power to affect positive change, and I still do to a degree, but my knowledge of how the music industry and media works means I am somewhat less ideological about these things and sadly to say, somewhat jaded. I'm reflecting on my path today because what I'm about to say comes from a place of more than just showbiz gossip. I feel I have a duty to burst the illusions that showbiz creates. Today, I'm going to talk about artists who sell out, sell out for the most money, the most media attention, the most fame, and the most manufactured worship. And they have to pay a price for having the most of everything. Whether you believe in the idea of a Illuminati or not, whether you believe it exists within the music industry, and many, many people do, or if you don't, it really doesn't matter on this occasion. All you have to do is look at the evidence of who has the most and who costs the most. They are also the ones who are used like weapons against us and our children. They come with killer songs and they promote killer messages and they charge us hugely to do it. So today, I'm going to look at the world's most expensive artist to see live. It's no longer Beyonce or the Rolling Stones, but that down-to-earth gal, Adele. You must know who she is. Everybody knows who she is. She's been everywhere for a decade, picked and groomed to be the proverbial swan story. And uh, I see yesterday she was suffering something of a backlash, and rightly so. She's at it again, this time extortionate cost to see her live. It's not new for her, but she has now topped the league table of the most expensive artist to see, as I say. And now, as a, a former music journalist, I know it is incredibly expensive to go out on the road. Um, but the artists make an absolute fortune from all the add-ons as well as the ticket prices. So all the merchandise, the programs, and even videos of the event after the affair. You'd think then that they would cut their fans some slack. Not so Adele, whose Munich concert this summer is charging people £300 for the cheap seats, going up to 984 for the best package. Who spends that money? There were... I have to be honest, a few £60 seats available, but they were few and they were minimal and they've gone. Fans are raging. They say Adele has lost touch with her audience. Really? You only just noticed this? Fact is, Adele sold out a long time ago. I feel personally aggrieved by the selling out of Adele because I was someone who championed her. I wanted her to succeed. She was unstarry. She was down to earth. She was like one of us. She made much of being an awkward, plump girl from South London. People embrace that about her. Being overweight is something that is not really allowed in the music industry because it's so image conscious. But it made Adele relatable to so many people who can feel intimidated by the model-esque pop stars. Then she made it big in America. She moved there and became a regular industry porn. Her COVID narrative surpassed everything. She told fans to wear masks. She insisted on people being jabbed and showing, um, you know, uh, papers before they came to her Las Vegas concert. That later changed so that if people were vaccinated, you didn't need to show a negative test. But if you weren't vaccinated, you did. And then 24 hours before showtime, she postponed the whole thing. And she said that it was because of all of her jabbed crew had come down with COVID. We later found out that she'd actually lied about that. She actually felt that it wasn't artistically ready. She's still pushing the COVID narrative. Even now, she's pushed the whole lot. Masks, jabs, social distancing, passports, you name it. And uh, last September, she actually announced that she would no longer be in do be doing selfies at her Las Vegas residency because she said, I'm hanging on by a thread trying not to get COVID. So yes, I am not at all surprised that Adele has lost touch with her audience. Imagine how much good an Adele could do if she stood up and said, sod it, 
I'm going to tell the truth, and said there have been excess deaths worldwide since the C-19 jabs, the very jabs that I promoted. I need you to ask, is there a connection? It would change the landscape in a second. Pity that she won't. Her continued success relies on her not sticking her neck out.